Imagine having the world at your feet and losing it all because of one selfish ego. The F2 were the most popular YouTube skills move makers back in the day. Their comps were so intense, they had ER rooms full of ballers testing out new moves they pulled out. It was all going great, until one day, one half of the fantastic duo made a huge mistake that ended everything. Jeremy Lynch and Billy Wargrove were the two brains behind the F2. You can't miss those faces anywhere. But you see guys, just like every success story, the F2 didn't just start off and then make it to the top, they had to grind their way out of nothing. From different backgrounds, career paths, and a can of lies. Jeremy Lynch grew up just like every other kid in London, loving football and having dreams of going pro. Jeremy wasn't exactly sure if he wanted his dreams to become a reality, and so he kept them to himself. Until one day, he came across the video that changed his life and started his career. At the time, Jeremy was 13 when he came across this video. And right then and there, he knew he wanted to go pro and become just like the guys in the video. But instead of doing the right thing and joining the club like other guys did, Jeremy did something else and put his young life and career in a big load of trouble. See, Jeremy claimed that when he was 15, he'd sign up for Arsenal's academy. Wait, that's normal. Lots of kids have joined Arsenal's academy, and not all of them went pro. But Jeremy wasn't satisfied with telling people he was a part of the academy, so he took his scheme up a notch. And this time, his whole world was about to come crashing down. Jeremy told people that while he was in Arsenal's academy, the coaches said he was the best player in the entire club. On the ball, you're the best player in the world, but off it, you don't have a work rate and you're lazy. That's why we're releasing you. Now, hold on a bit. See, when Jeremy was 15, it coincided with the time Arsenal had their greatest ever team, the Invincibles, and that team was stacked, man. I'm talking ballers like Thierry Henry, Robert Perez, Patrick Fiera, and even Freddie Lundberg. Jeremy claiming that the coaches said he was better than all these legends wasn't adding up, and pretty soon, he had people clocking up his trail. And all it took was one former Arsenal Academy graduate to come out, speak the truth, and damage Jeremy's reputation. On the ball, you're the best at the whole club, including the first team. Fabrice Muamba was at the Arsenal Academy at the time Jeremy claimed that he was there. And when he heard the stuff Jeremy said, he got really pissed. And in an exclusive podcast, he spilled the beans. And Jeremy's can of lies was busted wide open. I can't remember ever seeing his face at the club. And I knew everyone in there. But the guys a year ahead and below. I knew everyone. So if Jeremy was really at the academy, I'd have seen him. To nail his point, Fabrice pulled out an old photo of the academy team. And Jeremy was nowhere to be found. Yeah, yeah, below, ab above me, he, wa he went in there. No? No. And I know every single body in that year above me. When the news came out that Jeremy was capping to the whole world, it caused a major scandal for him. And pretty soon, he had to lay low and avoid social media because he was getting called out all over. But this was the turning point Jeremy needed in his career. Because after the whole incident, Jeremy signed up for the reality talent show, Britain's Got Talent. And even though the show scripted till the end, Jeremy's talent was still very evident on display and he ended up finishing in the semi-finals. Hmm, impressive. But you see guys, unlike Jeremy, Billy came from honest beginnings, until he came face to face with the biggest decision of his life. Growing up as a kid, Billy was into football from the very beginning. His dad Alan played for Spurs Academy, and even though his cousin Greg didn't make it as a pro, he played for Arsenal's youth system. North London derbies on Thanksgiving would have been very different here. Flying pies everywhere. With his family background, Billy had football in his sights, and just like his family, he was determined to go pro too. So he joined Spurs Academy, but just as his dreams were going on the up, something happened one day that changed his life and brought his dreams crashing down. He got to training one day, and before he pulled out into his kit, the coaches called him over to the locker room and delivered the devastating news. We're sorry, Billy, but you aren't developing the way we'd expect, and we have to let you go. Damn, this news would crush any other kid, but Billy was special, and he was determined to make a name for himself and his family, because he knew that if he'd failed, he'd become a disappointment to his friends and family. So, Billy took a few days off to think about what to do with his life. See, by this time, he was already friends with Jeremy, and they linked up on a couple of occasions. Then one day, a genius idea stuck into his head. 
and just one phone call with Jeremy changed everything. January 2011 was a landmark day for Jeremy and Billy, because together they created the F2, and before they knew it, the brand exploded and became a worldwide sensation. Money, fame, success, and popularity, it was crazy. They became so popular, they even performed at a Ballon d'Or ceremony, freestyling for the best players in the world. Now that's awesome. But pretty soon, they realized they needed to take their game to the next level. And three months after they branded, they released their first DVD titled How to Freestyle Volume 1. And it was a huge success. Just looking at the cover of that video alone gives me chills, man. And they even sent out a special discount message at the back for all fans that purchased it. The DVD was a hit, and it was all thanks to Billy. It was his master plan that made him create the YouTube channel and the DVD tape in the first place. And now, they were making millions and partnering with huge brands all over the world. Nike, Adidas, Puma, and New Balance. Making videos with Ronaldo and Neymar? <laughs> they were living the dream. But now, just like every movie, their life seemed too good to be true. And one day, it all came crashing down. And the modern-day kings of YouTube were about to lose their entire kingdom. The Wembley Cup was coming up, and it was a huge deal for YouTubers. The Wembley Cup had fans from all over the world in attendance. Because the most popular YouTubers were on show, and the famous legends too. Steven Gerrard had even played in one edition. But in 2018, something happened. Something happened that signaled the end of the competition, without anyone even realizing it. In March, just a few days before the competition would kick off, F2 was supposed to make a video with another YouTube duo called The XO. Now, The XO wasn't as popular as The F2, but they had their own followers, so people were genuinely excited to see the stuff that they were all cooking up. But during the video shoot, there was one major issue. The XO was sick of Jeremy's bad attitude, and because of that, they found it hard to work with him. After trying two times over, it became pretty clear that they weren't going to figure it out. Out of disappointment, the EXO called off the video, and a day before the start of the competition, Stephen Trees, a member of the EXO, well, he was pretty pissed about the stuff that went down. So he went to the studio to chill off, but he picked up the mic and released the ultimate diss track. The diss track hit hard. Stephen called them out from all angles, and it was like he dropped a bomb on them. With that move, the cards were in place, and a silent war was in motion. The F2 were mad about the whole situation, and decided they'd wait until the big day to drop a mega reaction. The F2 won the competition, but it was full of controversy. See, they accused the referee of cheating, disrupted the game, and dropped some crazy accusations. Jeremy claimed the referee blew the whistle two minutes early, so after the match, he went round the back looking for him, but when Steven was chilling out back, he immediately remembered all the stuff Steven said in the diss track, and that's when he completely lost it. It gets even crazier, man. Because no one knew about this whole confrontation until years after, and this was the final blow for Jeremy's reputation. See, Jeremy was already having issues with his image. People had been leaving negative reviews about working with him. So when this whole thing exploded and the entire world knew, it was a horror show. So, he was being called out on all socials and tagged by the people that had worked with him. Jeremy was still trying to figure out how to save his reputation when the screen lit up and he got a new notification. The owner and president of the Wembley Cup, Spencer FC, had just dropped a new video. As soon as Jeremy hit play, he knew it was over. It was like watching a no hold barred show about his life. Spencer FC admitted that the referee actually cheated, only because he didn't like the F2. He also went on to expose the F2 to the whole world, and the heavy problems that were going on. See, the F2 was just trying to put up an image, but deep down, they were having serious issues. Billy, just like everyone else, was getting tired of Jeremy's nasty attitude and bad press. But he was only putting up with it because of the brand, and he couldn't take it anymore. And this was the end. Despite agreeing to split up, the F2 brand still retains its name, but the relationship has become so bad they don't even post videos together anymore. They cancel a lot of projects that they've had coming up, like their rascal clothing brand and the F2 Academy. After breaking up, Billy started posting family-based content on his YouTube channel, The Wingroves, while Jeremy became a huge TikTok star and posts a lot of videos regularly. They're still doing okay, but their secret is out, and it's not worth hiding anymore. And the whole secret thing kind of reminds me of Lionel Messi's biggest secret that got exposed all over. 
See, there's a lot of stuff Messi's been hiding about his kids. And I'd bet you're willing to find out, because the stuff in there is freaking crazy. Just click the video.